And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Uh, I'm 93. Do I still count? No, Grandpa, we hate you. Just so you know, that gag was based off a comic I made back in 2014. So I wanted to make a Christmas video, but I didn't know what to talk about. So we're just going to sit here and roast marshmallows by this PNG of a fire. Do you guys know about that soccer game that happened in the middle of World War I on Christmas Day? And it was between two opposing sides, the Allies and the Central Powers? I'm not making this up. So German and British troops were in the trenches, you know, fighting for their lives. They were in the middle of a war after all. And on Christmas Eve, German troops started singing Christmas carols. Then the British troops responded singing their own Christmas carols. Then one thing led to another and on Christmas Day they started playing soccer. Well, the British troops would have called it football and the German troops would have called it football. But I'm calling it soccer. Yeah, I know I'm a heretic. I don't think anything like that has happened in a war ever. Except for that one time in the Revolutionary War when everyone stopped fighting because the new Super Smash Brothers just came out. Merry feet! Merry feet! Tis not Falco! Wombo with combination! Oh! 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 Where art thou?! Okay, that was obviously a joke. Maybe they didn't come out for at least, like, another year. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, what I'm wondering is, do you think anyone during that game felt a little bit awkward? So, how's the war? Oh, you're fearing for your life? Well, that's... that's good. That's good. That means we're doing a good job. Do you think whoever won the game of soccer bragged to the other team? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! First we beat you at football ball. Next, the world. Ah, dang it, my marshmallow burned. Does the story of Rudolph count as a fable? What would the moral of Rudolph be? I think it would be, being different from society will be punished unless it's exploitable. Okay, I stole that quote from something I saw on the subreddit, I'm 14 and this is deep. How come no one sings any songs about any of the other reindeer? Rudolph saved Christmas once, and like, he didn't do it alone. Just because he could see through the snow, which, by the way, wouldn't have been useful in Arizona, didn't mean he carried Santa's sleigh all by himself. But no, just because you were bullied as a kid, you get your own song. Well, enough about you going down in history, Rudolph. I'm going to make my own song about Prancer. Do, do, do. Prancer, the normal nose reindeer, had a very normal nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say, yep, that's a nose. All of the other reindeer respected him for meeting the expectations of what a normal reindeer should be like. They always let little Prancer play on his reindeer bike. Okay, I'll stop. What if the reason Rudolph had a shiny nose was because Rudolph's mom had an affair with a clown? That was based off a comic I made in 2014. Why did the three wise men bring baby Jesus, gold, Frankenstein, and myrrh? What kind of baby would want that? Okay, that was also based off a comic I made in 2014. Man, 2014 was just my year. Please read my comics. You know what? I'm not done talking about Rudolph. You guys have all seen the stop motion movie they made about him in the 60s, right? You know, about the elf who wants to be a dentist. So who wouldn't? Practice. Well, there's one scene in the movie where Yukon Cornelius sacrifices himself to kill the abominable snowman, and he saves all of his friends, and also indirectly saves Christmas, but whatever, he doesn't get a song. But then later in the movie, he just walks through the front door, and everyone's wondering how he survived, and Rudolph even says, But, but you went, went over, over the side, side of a cliff. cliff! And then Yukon tells everyone the answer, Didn't, didn't I, I ever, ever tell, tell you about, about Bumbos? Bumbos, Bumbos bounce! bounce. And then everyone just laughs it off like it was a hilarious joke and doesn't ask him any more questions. Even as a kid, I thought that was a stupid explanation. What does that mean, Bumbo's bounce? Like, did you two fall off the cliff and then when you hit the bottom, just trampoline yourself all the way back up? Oh wait, no, I think I know what it means. It means the writers didn't want to kill off a character, so they just came up with a plot device to make him live. You know, because you can't have death in a kid's movie. No one dies. <laughs> Not even the bad guy dies. How does Santa deliver to houses without chimneys? I think Tim Allen tried to explain it once. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I kept it short so that way I have more time to spend Christmas with my family. And it also gives me more time to wrap presents. Because, you know, I'm just terrible at wrapping.